The eastern coral snake is a shy, secretive, and normally inoffensive snake. The good thing, since drop for drop, the coral's venom is perhaps the most toxic of any snake in North America. The coral snake is also a spectacularly beautiful snake. Its brilliant red, yellow, and black banding pattern is easily recognizable, and the well-known rhyme, red to yellow, kill a fellow, is a quick guide to tell that it's a coral. Watch as the coral bites. You will see just a drop of straw-colored venom. This tiny amount is in fact a lethal dose. Just four or five milligrams is probably enough to kill an adult. The coral snake is closely related to the cobras, mambas, and sea snakes. A member of the elaborate family, he has a small front thick spang, and although unable to penetrate sneakers, shoes, or perhaps even thick pants, the coral is a capable biter when he chooses to be. Perfectly able to bite a finger, hand, or any other part of the body. He has a powerful mouth and needle sharp fangs. Coral snake venom contains powerful neurotoxins capable of disrupting a victim's ability to breathe. Symptoms, which include difficulty in swallowing, difficulty in speaking, droopy eyelids, known as tosis, and eventually respiratory failure, are sometimes delayed after the coral bites. When they do set in, symptoms can be rapid and dramatic. Antivenom is extremely important in treating coral snake bites. Currently, there is no longer an antivenom for coral snakes produced in the United States. Fortunately, a Mexican antivenom, as well as several other foreign serums, do seem to be effective in treating the bites by the eastern coral snake. Coral snakes feed almost exclusively on other snakes and small ground-dwelling lizards in the wild. Because it is difficult to obtain a steady suit food supply in captivity, the coral snakes admit toxin are too thin for pre-measured high-protein diet with multivitamins added. Watch as the tube is gently inserted down the coral throat and moved into the snake's stomach. A small amount of the food is pumped into the snake. This will hold the coral until his next venom extraction and feeding 14 days from now.